The historic ecumenical council, Vatican II, comes to a close amid colorful pomp and pageantry. Considered one of the most important councils in Catholic Church history, Vatican II saw 2,400 bishops and other prelates revise many aspects of church activity. It was the first full church council in nearly a century and the 21st in history. In 168 sessions from October 1962, the council produced 16 documents designed to modernize the role of the church in world affairs. The council was called at the behest of Pope John XXIII, and its work was carried on by Paul VI. The results will have an influence on both religious and secular affairs for centuries to come. The pontiff closed the sessions with messages to world rulers, to intellectuals, to artists and workers, to the invalid and to the poor. These were appeals that all men seek peace through brotherhood, the end of war through understanding. Along with Catholic prelates, there are a hundred observers from other faiths and 85 diplomats at the closing ceremonies. A pontifical mass is offered that success might crown the aims of the Vatican Council. There are an estimated 100,000 people in St. Peter's Square. The final blessing is for the assembled throng and for the world. Ite in pace, go in peace. A blessing echoed round the world by men of goodwill.